Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, AKA Vegan Bodega Cat, and I'm in Toronto. I mean, not now, but I will be in approximately two minutes-ish for you guys. Roberto and I went to Toronto for a few days for my birthday, and I recorded the whole foodie experience, uh, packaged it up, sent it over to you guys, see what you think. Hair tie. Um, usual disclaimers, I am not a dietitian, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm just a random foodie girl eating food. Um, also, like when I, you know, visit places, I eat more junk food than usual. So, like, um, yeah, not a recommendation. Entertainment pur 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 purposes only. Uh, I usually drink coffee every morning. I usually take a B12 and a D3 and an omega, all the yummy vitamins. But I think that's all I have to say. Uh, let's just hop straight into the video. This is everything that I ate as a vegan foodie in Toronto. I am packing for my flight today and here is breakfast. I just took two pieces of bread, added a little bit of tomato paste, some zucchini, some follow your heart mozzarella, and truff hot sauce and threw it in the oven to toast. It's kind of like a little breakfast zucchini pizza. I'm eating this up as I'm getting ready to go. Hot, 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 we're about to leave but I'm eating leftovers in the fridge so it doesn't go bad. Here is some bulgogi sausage and veggie with the rice. Probably gonna share this with Roberto cause I'm not that hungry, but I don't want it to go bad in the fridge while we're gone. But also, I don't want this half an iceberg lettuce to go bad either, so I drizzled ranch on it. I'm probably gonna get Roberto to help me finish this too. And then we're going. I'll see you later. So, I got an email before we got here saying that we have to come here four hours early. So we came here three hours early, and now we're just three hours early. It wasn't long or anything. So we're gonna sit and study or something. No, edit, not study. I'm study. And I'm drinking a Diet Coke. I'll see you later. On the airplane, I ate a bag of these pineapple chips. They were dried, but they were literally the whole slice of pineapple, which looked so cool, and it was so crispy. Delicious. Hello, we are at the Airbnb, and as our Airbnb host was dropping us off at the apartment, she mentioned something about a supermarket on the ground floor of this giant apartment building. Like, we're on the 18th floor. I think there's like 20-something floors in this building, and it's huge. It's so big. Anyway... I'm really curious about the supermarket because I am hungry, it's really late, and I really haven't had a meal since like two when when I ate those things before leaving the apartment. So let's go check out the food. We found it. Oh, it looks like a Whole Foods, right? This gives me very strong. Yeah, Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. Farm boy. So we're actually finding a lot of vegan options and I think we're gonna come back but for tonight, I think we're gonna do salad and pizza. So here's a salad. Are any of these dressings vegan? We're gonna grab the lemon garlic dressing and then get a pizza. There it is. Gonna order that one right there. And I'll see you back at the Airbnb where we can eat it all. This is the pizza. It was $9, it looks like shit, but it smells really good. <laughs> so we're gonna try it. Update the it tastes fine. The crust is very odd texture, um, but the taste is mediocre. It, it's, it's a little more than mediocre. I wouldn't get it again. This side salad looking even better now. Ooh, actually, it looks really good. Vegetables. Mmm. These veggies are super fresh. Thumbs up on the on the salad. We also picked up some popcorn while we were downstairs. So I'm eating some popcorn and we're gonna watch the movie called The Host. We finished Squid Game. It was really good. Good morning, we're having coffee that Roberto said was bad. So we'll try it ourselves now to see if it's bad or not. Ta-da! We grabbed this yesterday at the supermarket downstairs. Flash Brew Mocha Coffee. Cheers. <gasps> Do you shake it first? No, was I supposed to shake it? Yeah, but it's still gonna be nasty. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's so bad. Round two. 
I'm not drinking this. As we were walking to go explore a couple neighborhoods, I saw this sign. It says, awesome coffee this way. So I ordered a soy latte and we'll see if it's awesome. Here it is. Let's do a little taste test. R Roberto just took a sip and said it's definitely giving something. It's definitely giving something. <laughs> I don't not like it. I'll give it a five out of 10. We stumbled upon a plant-based restaurant called Parka and we got breakfast. Roberto got a fried tofu sandwich and his fries look so good. I tried to go healthier and now I don't know if I'm gonna regret it because Mine doesn't look as good, but it might be good, so we'll taste it. It's like the tofu breakfast wrap. Let's try my bland tofu looking wrap. Mm -hmm. It's alright. Maybe seven out of ten. It tastes exactly like I made this at home. Six and a half out of ten. But at least I know it's healthy-ish. Roberto's letting me try his sandwich too. Honestly, his is prettier, but mine tastes a little better. Interesting. I think so too. I feel like it. Look what he gives me back. Look what he gives me back. Tortilla. Yeah, I need this. I think. <laughs> we got bubble tea. I was craving something sweet, so I got a brown sugar boba tea with soy milk. This is a little bit too sweet, but it's very good. And then Roberto got a matcha. I tried it, I do not like it. I generally don't like matcha though, but he does. I'm, I'm more of a fan of non-matcha things. Honestly, I'd give this a um, nine out of 10. Delicious. We're back at the Airbnb. We could have walked for a little bit longer, but we thought that we were gonna run out of time before we had to make a reservation. Um, I ate a, a builder's bar because I got pretty hungry like an hour ago, less than an hour ago. This is the peanut butter flavor. Chocolate peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter flavor. Um, but Roberto made us reservations at Planta for my birthday since we didn't go out to dinner for my birthday yesterday because we were traveling, going out to dinner for my birthday today. And I can't wait. I've heard such good things about this place and I hope it lives up to the hype. I'll see you there. Here we are. The atmosphere is beautiful and we already ordered. Let me tell you what we got. So we each got a drink. I got the peach don't kill my vibe. Roberto got aloe views. And then we got the bang bang broccoli. This is the same bang bang broccoli they serve at Planta Queen in New York. So I know it's absolutely delicious. That's why I got it so Roberto can try. He never has. We got spaghetti a la carbonara, smoked tempeh and mushroom bacon, cracked pepper, almond parmesan, and then we got this Bianca pizza, roasted rosemary and potatoes, kale, olives, capers, hot chili oil, cashew mozzarella, onions. And I am super pumped to eat. We're very hungry. So that's Roberto's drink right there, and this one is mine. This literally looks exactly like the leech don't kill my vibe in Planta Queen in New York. So I think it's literally the same cocktail except for instead of making it with lychee, they're making it with peach. I already had a sip. It tastes exactly like peach rings, so I'm delighted. Here's the bang bang broccoli. I want Roberto to try it so you can see like first reactions of trying the most amazing dish. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. What is that? Peanut sauce? Right yeah. Now? And here's the pizza. I already had a bite. It doesn't really taste like pizza. It tastes like a really yummy, spicy, tart, not tart, salty, you know, capery, olivey pizza. And here's the carbonara. It honestly, it's so good. Very like creamy and hearty and mushroomy. Literally everything here has been great. Like maybe even better than Planta in New York City, but don't tell them I said that. I already got two drips of wax in my birthday dessert. So I forgot what this is called, but this is dessert and they put a candle on it for my birthday, which was so sweet. And um, let's see if it actually tastes so sweet. That is way too coconutty. I do not like it. All of them. Okay, I had a few more bites and I hit some blueberry and the blueberry balances out the coconut. So I do like it more now 
but like, meh. But like, it's not bad. It's decent. It's decent now with the blueberry. Good morning. I was hungry this morning, so I ate one of these splits. It's like peanut butter on one side and grape jelly on the other, and then you just like cut the top open and you just like, and you eat it, whatever. It's just because we had it here and I was hungry. But uh, we're on our way to go get some coffee from where? Not sure yet. Maybe Starbucks, maybe another place. Starbucks is just always a safe bet. It's not the best coffee, but at least I know what to expect, you know? And then we're gonna go shoot a video at this place that everyone's been recommending I try over here. It's called Fresh, so we're gonna be reviewing it for breakfast. Then we're gonna go get piercings. I don't know what I'm gonna get pierced yet. Probably an ear piercing. Roberto's gonna get his nose done. I will see you at wherever we decide to get coffee. I got a soy cappuccino from The Roasted Nut. They sell nuts, like a bunch of different kinds of nuts and nut butters, but also coffee. I also saw a nut cheese in there. You can make all the jokes you want, but um, it's okay, decent coffee. Drinking this and then heading to shoot my video. Then I shot a video at Fresh. I had this delicious Cobb salad a sandwich called the gold farb it had like roast beef in it and stuff some poutine because of course canada nachos and giant onion rings it was a lot of food okay so we just shot it fresh i'm incredibly full incredibly full um that's such a cool i don't know what that is what is that i don't know i'll show it to you in a second anyway super full we're going on a walk right now to walk it off and explore so i'll be good in a minute but the food was decent now look at this weird thing Oh, I think it said it was going to make a noise in like three seconds. No, it's not. <laughs> what is that? That was, that was that was a noise. Little dessert pit stop. Roberto and I found this place called Bunners. It's a vegan and gluten-free bakery, and we got a few things to try. Here is a double chocolate chip muffin, a pumpkin pie, cupcake, and a mini cinnamon bun. My thoughts on everything is, they're all right. Um, it's all right. This one's probably my favorite. Tastes like a good chocolate chip muffin, double chocolate muffin. Meh. Meh. That's all I have to say. Goodbye. Okay, after having that like really mediocre baked goods that they just weren't good. Um, we've redeemed our taste buds because we got like this drink that I've been seeing for years and I've never tried it in person. Y'all who drink it, like regularly you're gonna laugh at my excitement, but like it's literally just as good as I always thought it was. Bring it. How, what, how, what is it called again? Chamoy. Uh, it's yeah. basically Chamoy like, yeah, yeah, it's delicious. It's spicy and mangoey and lemony and there's like a candy on a stick. Oh, it's so good. It's like a mango lemonade um, with uh, tahini and stuff. I don't know if I even recorded myself, but. Mm-mm. <laughs> Ten out of ten. Um, hello, it's nighttime. We are meeting Viet Vegan for the first time. She made us reservations at 8.30 p.m. for dinner. Why so late? I mean, I did tell her to make a reservation in the evening, but I thought, I thought that meant like seven or something. Anyway, we're going out for dinner at 8.30. Just roll with it. Uh, we're meeting Viet Vegan. We've followed each other for, I don't know how long. Over a year? But under several years? Eh, I don't remember. We're going out for dinner. We're going to a place called Fat Choi. And apparently it's her favorite restaurant, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, yeah. We'll check it out when we get there. We had a great dinner last night, so it's gonna be pretty hard to top that dinner. We'll see if Fat Choi can do it. Also, do you like my shirt? I like this shirt. As you can tell, I've been really into exposed seams lately, and when I get into a trend, which isn't very often, but when I get into like a certain style, I wear it a lot, which I've been doing that so much, and I need to just calm down a little bit. Um, I'll see you at dinner. Bye. Turns out Fat Choi has a tasting menu, so we got to try out so many dishes. Started out with edamame, and then these are rice cakes and chili oil, lentils, and some of the flakiest, butteriest bread ever. This was one of my favorites. Deep fried mushrooms in some sort of aioli sauce. This is deep fried cauliflower and broccoli. 
These bao buns were to die for, incredibly fluffy, and it came with a cucumber salad. Speaking of salads, we also had a shreddy salad with some slaw. And this was the ultimate favorite, but I forgot what it was, some sort of seitan meat thing. Crispy pancakes with a spicy sauce, and then ice cream and fried bananas. We were in pain at the end of it, but it was so good. Good morning. Good morning. Um, we got back really late last night and we woke up not wanting to do anything this morning at all just been laying around for hours but then we got really hungry um and so i made us samosas because our first night here we picked up samosas and then we weren't hungry enough to eat them so i made us samosas but then as the samosas were in the oven which by the way the oven was so difficult to figure out as they were in the oven, Roberto really wanted coffee. He left to go buy us coffee. So, that is our situation this morning. I didn't really record Lisa last night, but Viet Vegan was really nice. We had a great time hanging out, and I definitely recommend you follow her. All right, I'm a human again. I'm alive. Roberto got us Starbucks. The soy milk they use here, this is my first Starbucks in Canada, in Toronto. The soy milk they use here tastes different than the, than the one in New York. And um, I guess this whole video is me complaining about coffee. I don't like their soy milk. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's okay, it was fine. Drank my Starbucks that Roberto got me. It was a tall soy latte with two shots of espresso. And I was gonna cancel this video because I was exhausted and I didn't feel like eating burgers. But the YouTube show must go on. But I'm gonna go shoot at Odd Burger. Roberto's gonna go shoot at a poop themed cafe So if you want to check that out then check out his YouTube channel um, I would love to also go to the poop themed cafe But we don't have time for both of us to go to both so we're like splitting up I'm uh, gonna go shoot a video at Odd Burger and check it out and then I will see you later Tonight is cool tonight. We're gonna go eat at CN Tower um, and then get views of all of Toronto from like a million feet up in the air. That's gonna be really cool But I will see you later. Bye. I'm rambling. Then I shot that video at Odd Burger I taste tested one giant burger and a chicken sandwich I also taste tested this macaroni cheese soup type thing a taco salad and a chocolate chip cookie Decent for fast food Guys, 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 okay, this is the most beautiful view of my life. Roberto got us reservations at CN Tower to have dinner for my birthday. I know, we already had a birthday dinner. We're having another one. And we're, we just got on top. And you know what? I expected it to be nice, but I didn't expect it to be this nice. It's beautiful. The floor rotates. You could see like helicopters taking off and shit and earlier I saw the city back there Roberto's laughing at me because I'm so excited no, that's a good it's like a million times more beautiful than I thought it would be I don't think they're gonna have many vegan options but I don't care here's our first course we have a tomato salad he switched us up I think but we have a tomato salad and we have a strawberry kale salad with peaches we're just gonna share and try each, and we each got a peach cocktail as well. Salads are delicious, by the way. But look at this view. We're on top of the world, and the world is curved, as you can tell. Okay, our main, our main course is here. They only had one vegan main course, and that is this eggplant tower right here with a side of little bread chunks um so i didn't want to get the same thing twice so for me and to share i decided to just get a veggie plate so we have some mushrooms green beans red onions peppers and asparagus and a side of rice and we're just gonna share everything i know many of us as vegans are traumatized by receiving a plate of grilled vegetables um maybe a wedding or another fancy event but this is pretty good <laughs> Good morning. As you can tell, I'm in an airport. We're having bagels from Starbucks for breakfast with avocado spread. We're both having the same thing. Um, and then I have an iced soy latte. Roberto has an, I almost said an iced hot latte. A hot soy latte. And this is breakfast and we're heading home soon. 
we're home and i got here hungry so i ate a split um we actually both got here really hungry and as soon as we got here i ordered sandwiches from orchard grocer and roberta went to go pick them up so we're both getting monty's um but i couldn't wait hence why i had a little snack first i'm just gonna be cleaning and organizing and stuff <clears throat> we got back like while well, it's not nighttime like it's still the middle of the day so i'm still gonna like do things today i didn't clean mostly but I'll see you guys when the sandwiches get here. One of my favorite sandwiches to eat. Sometimes you just want like a good hearty sandwich. I thought maybe salad, but no, it's sandwich. It's sandwich time. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. Oh, they have nice blue bags now? I've never seen this. <laughs> oh yeah. What? This is not how it usually looks. Why is the meat? Gray, black. I think they changed their like deli slices supplier. Hold on, let me take a bite. This is one of the biggest disappointments of my life. It tastes kind of like licorice. What I'm gonna do is just remove half the meat because it was like really thick. Maybe if there's only a couple slices, the rest of the stuff on the sandwich will make up for it. I made us more sandwiches for dinner because it's easy to prep. I've been doing this thing lately where I make like chickpea salad, but instead of chickpeas, I use beans. And instead of mayonnaise, I make like a tahini dressing and I add pickles. It's missing celery and onions, but again, just got back from a trip, don't have that many groceries. So I made one for me and one for Roberto, and this is our dinner. I might do a little like chips on the side or something, but that's basically it and now that is all i have for today honestly we had such a great time in toronto it was like one of the best trips in a long time toronto as a city was fairly similar to like new york city honestly like would definitely visit again especially since a bunch of people were telling me to visit the brewery brewery district and i didn't have time so i want to go back just to visit that there are so many good vegan restaurants that i didn't get to go to uh so definitely a future toronto trip is happening but let me know what you thought of the video i hope you were entertained or got some I hope you were entertained or got some restaurant ideas for Toronto. Uh, like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. Also, um, my TikTok is the same exact handle, so check out my TikTok as well. But that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex, Crates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, the Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacey, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Adriana, McKenna, Shanta, and Adrian. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there, and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!